Hey there, viewers, old and new. It's Friday, so let's party. With the news? Yes, it's called party. Oh, okay. Today we're going to be talking about those pesky bands that are happening on Overwatch and the extended BVS. Maybe Sam's going to talk about The Flash. Oh, <laughs> oh I can guarantee you. But we'll first, we're going to be talking about Star Wars. You we all know Star Wars, right? You cut me off when I was talking about Star Wars. I'm sorry, what? What was that, Sam? Go ahead. Remember in Return of the Jedi when Anakin pops up as a Force ghost? Well, this is him in the originals. And then again as Hayden Christensen once they digitally remastered the originals post prequels. Yeah, that uh, that didn't really make a lot of sense. He died much older than as he was as a Force ghost. Exactly. Yeah. And some people tried to cover it up saying that perhaps the age that we see him as a Force ghost was the last time that Anakin was at one with the light side of the Force. Which then doesn't make sense because he redeemed himself again in the movie when he was talking to Luke. So Imgur user I2 digitally altered Hayden Christensen and added some Sebastian Shaw. You know, the actor who played Darth Vader without the helmet. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it was the Force Ghost, the first oh. one. Yeah. To make him look like the old man, he should be as a Force Ghost with a beard and without. I'm a beard lady myself. I liked it too. Mm. Nice little frame. Anyway, in F eh, movie news, DC and WB have been saying eh, fuck it. and released a trailer for the Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition with the Blu-ray and DVD release. Cause Fuck it. Snyder and his team filmed, I'm gonna generously speculate, 34 hours of footage and then they tried to shove that all into a three hour film. Doesn't make sense. The Ultimate Edition will contain new footage, around 30 minutes worth, and you can take a peek at some of that right here with a clip from the trailer. I didn't kill those men if that's what they think. We finally get a glimpse of Jenna Malone's character. She was cut originally. We believe that she's playing Barbara Gordon, but maybe she could be playing Cat Grant, you know, a fellow reporter at the Daily Planet. Possibly, who knows? But at this point, let's just say, eh, fuck okay. it. I'll be watching the Extended Edition when it comes out uh, on June 28th for a digital download, cuz fuck it. I'm gonna pop that one in the fuck it, fuck it. Bam. Next. And in gaming news, when Blizzard says they won't tolerate cheaters in their hugely successful game Overwatch, they mean it. So far, 1,500 accounts have been permanently banned from the game for using hacking programs and breaking the terms of use. So far, it's been discovered on a Chinese customer support forum that Blizzard is not only taking serious action on those who cheat just once, but could be naming and shaming the violators. It appears that Blizzard has published the Battle.net account names of those who have been permanently banned. For, for shame. 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 On Reddit, people are already claiming that they've been banned, but they simply bought another game and continue playing. Very clever. Very clever. One user is on his third game already. Is cheating really worth forking out money for a new game every time? Some people just have to win. Have to win. I guess. But remember, it's Blizzard making the coin with every purchase, so. Others are just fine with sticking to the guidelines of no cheating or hacking. There are seven million of you and, and me. And you're not playing. I'm that's, not. That's me. No, for sure not. Lied. No. Lied right there. <laughs> Lied straight up. It's like, get the f <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> There's seven million of you and me playing it now, so let's just get a good game going, you know? Diva, ready for action. Hey, everybody, shut up. I mean, technically, no one was talking. Listen for just one frickin' second. I have flash news, and it has to be spoken about, and it's good news for once, so just shh uh, and listen up. First off, apologies for saying shut up. That's rude and that's childish. Now, I'm gonna hit us with a flash timeline of the movie. Here's what we got. Okay. DC is making an awesome Flash TV show. Good. Then DC decides to make a Flash movie. Awesome, but with an entirely new actor. So, shrug. Then they cast Ezra Miller as Barry Allen. All right. Then movie gods Phil Lord and Chris Miller wrote the treatment for the movie, which is yes, awesome. Yes, yes, there are boys. Lord and, Miller. And Miller. Lord, Lord and Miller. 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 Then Seth Graham Smith took the treatment and made some kind of script out of it. Then some ding dong at Dar Darby's Warner Brothers. <laughs> then some ding dong at Warner Brothers signed him on to direct the film. Ding dong Sam, think of the children. Oh, no I'm bad sorry. words. I didn't mean to curse. That's You're right, Maude. I mean, it just would have been his directorial debut, and well, if he messed up the flash. I would have had some words for him, you know what I mean? Oh, you would have been on the tweets. Mm -hmm. Very stern words. Never fear though, Sam, your childhood is safe because Steph stepped away from the project due to creative differences, so mm -hmm. this is a blessing. And now Warner Brothers has got somebody a little more experienced helming this film. <laughs> That's right. Director of the hit film Dope, Rick Fumuhiwa. 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 Do you know the answer to this? Rick Fumuhiwa. Dope was praised by fans and critics alike, and it's believed that he will bring a useful spin to this DC franchise. So all in favor of Rick as the director, say aye. 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 Nice. Sold. What do you guys think of Rick directing The Flash? Let us know in the comments down below. Rick who? Rick. Rick F. Rick 
F. Rick F. Who? F. You. F. You. Rick Famu. You are. Famu, you are. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Subscribe, like. It's the weekend party. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> you shamed me for saying ding dong, oh, and then you flipped off the camera. Interesting. <laughs> With two fingers. Interesting. <laughs> Whoops. We'll take care of the bill, Bruce, and he's like, no! <laughs> what do you mean, why would he? He like, taking care of the bill at a TGI Fridays with all the Teen Titans is like couch coins to him. Then some ding dong at Darn and Darby's Warner Brothers. <laughs> Translate to Warner Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Darn is Darby. <laughs> yeah, throw some subtitles. They signed him on to direct the film. <laughs> Darn is Darby. Some ding dong at Darn and Darby's. Darn Brothers. Warner Brothers. Darn is Darby. <laughs> I was trying to say WB and Warner <laughs> Brothers at the same time, but while saying ding dong. So everything was wrong. Ah, oh, thank you. Mm. I'm so, so grateful.